Good morning. Today's reading is once again from this lovely Until Today by Yana Banzant. And it is from September 19th. And the reading goes something like this. <laughs> well, goes exactly like this. I experience and express the power of trust because I know I am not missing any steps I need to take. You feel crazy everything around you is in shambles anything that could go wrong is going wrong the bottom has fallen out the roof is caving in the walls around you are collapsing what do you do you take one step at a time in one direction trusting that everything will be just fine it won't be easy but if you trust that everything will be okay, it will be okay. When things appear to be falling apart, a chattering imp will find its way into your head. This annoying little pest will whisper things to you. The imp will point out every little detail of everything that is apparently going wrong. If that's not enough to rattle your cage, the imp will give you a mental preview of how worse things can get in an attempt to send you running off in 10 directions at once. Unlike people you can walk away from, you cannot get away from the imp because it is in your own mind. If you listen to the imp, you will eventually be convinced that there is a fire-breathing dragon waiting at every turn to devour you. This is a manifestation of the deceptive intelligence. What do you do? You put one foot in front of the other. You take one step at a time, moving in one direction at a time, doing one thing at a time. More than this, you cannot do. The imp and the dragon will simply have to realize that your life runs according to your schedule and your ability. You are only able to take one step at a time. Until today, you may have allowed yourself to be pushed, pulled, or frightened into trying to do too many things at one time. Just for today, choose one thing you know you must address. Focus on that one thing. Prioritize your steps. Take one step at a time. Today, I am devoted to moving slowly, carefully, and consciously in one direction to do one thing at a time. And this is uh, a theme lately in a lot of my conversations. You know, I'm working on launching a new course and um, and I have some friends that are that are uh, my helpers you know we we are all doing um, similar things and we keep battling this little imp I like that the imp and just keep going through and and I was Thinking back to my days in sales um, in the corporate world, and I was remembering what got me to be so successful. And what that was, was even though I was scared, even though I was having a bad day, even though I wasn't reaching anybody on the phone, or even though I was getting a lot of no's, I still kept working. I still kept doing one more thing. And on those days when it was bad, I would shift gears sometimes to get myself out of that mess, out of that funk, mental funk, and and, and quiet that little imp and, and push him out with, um, with other activities. And sometimes I would even call a client that bought from me before so that I would remember, oh yeah, I am good at my job. And I would just keep going. And, and to me, it seems like the successful people in anything are the ones that keep going in spite of their fear and keep like it's a marathon not a race and each win is wonderful but we can't take any win too seriously we can't take any loss too seriously at least for me in that situation I couldn't and when I try to think about that in, in terms of my own life and my life right now and, and it does have to be a marathon, not a race. And it does have to be this, um, this honest, true, step by step, one thing at a time, focus. Because 
I, and, and everybody, I naturally catastrophize. I naturally make a mountain out of a molehill. And if things are bad, I just assume that everything's bad. And, you know, I go into that. Too many times I've let the imp and the dragon take over my life. Too many times. And right now, today, I'm working on not allowing that to happen. I'm working on not allowing, I'm, allow, I'm working on my action to be stronger than my fear. And I think, I think that this reading is helping me remember that. So I like the image of the imp and the dragon, and I hope this helps you. And I have, hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow.